to someone like me who's um more of a guy on the mic and less in the scene uh tag yeah. you're gonna have to be doing a lot to help me out here but uh i'll uh i guarantee i'll start developing affinities as soon as i see like more than one second of footage from them yeah i mean you like what you showed us just so cool very good <laughs> player who you showed is so cool isn't who you showed the uh the one with the most like ranking points in tetris effect connected at least on steam uh that title belongs to kazu okay okay i just remember when i was in the game yesterday and i saw who you showed near the top and i was like damn yeah so he cool definitely that, is in the running for the, the top in fact but, he might be the second best or third best in this tournament you think so mm, you think so mm. yeah Maybe that's a uh, maybe that's a omen of things to come. All right, but we got our first match. Uh -huh. The Devil Uyashoda versus Ekans. Yeah. Uh, and again, big shouts out to Potato for uh, providing the art. Um, yep. You, 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 she just does that super consistent style and makes everything look good and convincing. Yeah, we've got a, a whole ad on Potatoes, so mm -hmm. we'll be discussing her some more later if you guys are interested. All right, we got a awesome match. Yeah. The um, and then uh, what going? Yeah, the uh, the stream I was commentating yesterday. Um, I know some people are probably going to be getting sick of hearing me because they've just been on three of these things now, whereas everybody <laughs> else has only done two. Uh, it was only U.S. players, so now we're getting a little more international. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming I, I really haven't seen too much. Uh, UK players represent uh, in the story. Yeah, so I think we only got one. There are like so a, quite a few is... countries with only one player. Like I think South Korea only had one. Mm -hmm. The Netherlands only has one. I'm surprised South Korea only had one. I feel like that would be one of those that's sneaking in like two or three. Yeah, I mean South Korea, they're more they're more Tetrio players than anything else. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, All right, but getting, yeah, getting into the it. We just showed us starting off with the uh, TKI. Ekans is Ooh, doing some sort to of get the PC. Job. Oh, Tetris PC for Ryu Shoda. Tetris PC? Way to go. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ekans, we... feeling the pressure a little bit here. No longer yeah. in that uh, APM sort of stack, but Going with for that what said, I he does build a fractal. Uh, oh, a fractal, sorry. There it yeah. is. All right, bit of an awkward stack for Ryu Shoda, but nothing a few skims can't fix. Yeah, Ekans is looking pretty good with the... Uh... <clears throat> the efficiency, get slimming in a lot of T-spin doubles, uh, T-spin singling when the skimming is necessary. Of course. Yeah, but we are seeing some misdrops from Ekans, and uh, while mm -hmm. those misdrops happen, happen, Uya Shoda going to uh, set off his own. I'm in a bit of trouble deciding where to put these pieces, but gonna get the ulti. Yeah, a nice ulti. 57 attack, really beefy zone there. Yeah, to be fair, Ekans has been sitting on that full meter for a little bit now, so... Yeah. Uh, it looks kind of like a, uh, you know, no, um... Oh, well, to, is no, this an ulti for Ekans? Ah, uh, not quite. A little bit of a lame zone, just a lot of Tetrises, but, you know, at least there weren't, like, too many doubles or triples in there. Yeah, you know, it just works. Do it. Yeah, got got to be maintaining some efficiency, though. In this, uh, oh, wow, but you showed a getting sent up really high by Ekans right now. I guess this wasn't prepared for the damage. Yeah, but uh, Uyu Shoda <laughs> gets a nice counter spike there. Forcing yeah, zone out of Ekans. Not in phase three yet, so Uyashoda was easily able to get rid of the cheese. Uh, yeah. Or lack thereof, almost. <clears throat> Uyashoda is working on a 19, pretty good. And Ooh, there were a fair amount 54. of T-spins there. And this is what we're leaving, or entering phase three with. That is definitely a kill. Yep, that's our that's our first game going to Uyashoda. Blazing fast, 130 drops per minute. You love to see it. Hell yeah. Second match is getting started with some classic, just straightforward T-spin setups coming from Ekans' side. Yep, looks like Uyashoda might have messed up his opener. I wasn't quite watching that intently, but either way, he's still got a nice well of garbage at his disposal now. We're getting some some sort of a cannon setup from Ekans' side. Uh, he gets a yeah. T-spin double, and I think I saw a single in there. Not as uh, efficient as one might hope, but it also looks like some misdrops led to that. All right, nice combo Ooh. for Uyashoda. Gonna receive a full zone from Ekans, so he's got to build one now. Maybe he only he only sent twenty nine lines off of a uh, off of an eighteen line clear. So 
I'm not too sure. Oh, I think big Exus zone. is going Somebody to have to really up. do something about this. Cannot oh, get anything past set, like the amount of lines allowed on the left side. So yeah, I mean, yeah. like you could see it. There is just so much, so many blocks stacked up on top of his garbage well. Really unfortunate placement there. Yeah. What are you gonna do? All right, that's the uh, second round going to Uyashoda. Looks like Uyashoda wanted to go for a uh, honey cannon, but misdropped it. Yeah, Ekans is starting us off with the double into the triple. Oh wow, Uyashoda receiving a lot of garbage. That's probably what happens when you misdrop your opener. Yeah. Oh, speaking of misdrops, Ekans is dealing with a little bit of a. Oh, oh man, that was a quick round. Sloppy, sloppy top out. That is a uh, very unfortunate. Our first A of the stream. <laughs> well, this is group stage A. That was the first A. So we're going 3-0 with Uye in the front. And uh, yeah, oh, right, Uye Shoda uh, got the uh, honey cannon off correctly this time. Interesting. Ekans looked like they were trying to go for a PC, just not able to get it and getting out of dodge before it's too late. All right, looks like Uyashoda is just gonna keep up the back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Ekans definitely trying to uh, negate all this pressure yep. that's coming. Yep, going into a three-quarter zone with two T-spin doubles off the bat and now just uh, kind of playing for the down stack game on the way up. Gets an 18 line clear, but isn't gonna send the most damage out of it. Uh, only oh, wow, this is a uh, gonna be a really direction. efficient zone for Uyashoda if he can get enough. E Ooh, we're going big on the, on the right side build. Uh, doesn't finish it off too convincingly, but yeah, but you know, 56 and 18 is still really scary. It's pretty good. Yep, Ekans uh, managed to uh, stop all that garbage though, but yeah. his stack's not looking that good. It's not looking that good, but it's looking like they're the type of player to uh, surpass it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's see, you showed up. Nice TSD Tetris. Ekans taking a lot of garbage, but taking it in stride. Yeah. Really able to uh, get rid of all this pressure coming toward us. Ekans was really looking for that eyepiece for that T spin double setup. And they both pop a full zone at the same time. Now yep. it's going to be a matter of who is able to cut through their cheese better. And Ekans is dealing with uh, it, like computer generated cheese, and you showed us dealing with player made cheese. Yeah, so. and that was a very pivotal yeah. zone of the match yeah. because as soon as they hit the zone, they had entered phase three. Mm -hmm. So whoever had sent them more damage there was pr pretty much safe and the other person was totally screwed. Yeah, totally cheesed. Uyashoda is now in the lead with four points. All right, uh, another honey cannon for Uyashoda. We started off or with a miss called. PC opener from Ekans. Uh, no missed drops, just didn't have the right PC. Oh wow, nice combo from um, Uyashoda. Solid T-spin doubles coming from Ekans' side, but again, getting Beckon too close to the top out. Gonna have to clear the zone out just to stay alive. Yeah, Ekans actually sent Uyashoda a lot of damage with that zone, but Uyashoda was able to negate all of it without the zone, which Set. is now going to be uh, very impactful as Uyashoda sends 49 lines just like raw. Yeah. And as you were talking, uh, I always like pointing this out, but I can see a really a sexy L spin. Uh, oh, the, the, the perfect clear from Uya Shoda. Jeez, mid match, no setup. Yeah. We're able to negate some of it. Oh, but that's a bad, that's a that's a misdrap you don't come back from. You you can't eat a perfect clear, come on. Ouchie, wow, wow. Yeah, that APP, almost one APP for Uya Shoda. All right. Starting off with a T-spin double setup again. Keeping it Looks pretty... Looks like uh, uh, another triple-double for Uyashoda. Oh my god. That that T-spin triple. <laughs> wow! That was, uh, that was quite that the was stuff fancy. coming from Uye's side. Oh, uh, it's like, you can tell Ekans is like, I want to get this T-spin double, but if I do, I'll probably die, so I have to back it up. Yeah, looking at Uyashoda's board right now, look at all of the attacks he had built up. Oh my god. Oh, oh but that that's misdrop. a weird misdrop though. This is Ekans' chance to get some retaliation, and obviously we showed us gonna be able to get out of this situation just due to being in the zone, but still. Again, that's the uh that's the beauty and the uh what do you call it? The ugliness of the zone. It's just like you can stay safe as long as you're still in it. 
and have time to think yeah. and have time to assess. If you're the other player and you're like, this would be a perfect time to force him to top out while they're in the zone, you just gotta pray. Ooh. Well, you showed his IP. He's probably got locked in place there. Uh, Atkins is again popping the zone with only one quarter of the meter built up. Not able to negate all the damage, but still staying alive. Ooh, showed is definitely on the offensive now, playing super low to board. Yeah, and looking at this uh, APM output from Uyashoda, we're quickly marching towards that 60k point threshold. Oh, absolutely. So things are just going to get worse and worse for Ekans if he can't get some sort of combo here, which he actually does. Yeah, pretty low stack. I mean, you don't really get much better positioning than that. Yeah, but Uyashoda had the Tetris TSD. That's going to be a lot of damage, forcing Ekans to zone, but... Ekans has got the full zone meter that's unfortunately yeah. cut short by the misdrop. It's like, ooh, oh, is that oh, forcing, or is that the more ulti. reminding? He's definitely set up for a lot higher of a clear than that. Oh my god, Uyashoda messed up that fin. Come on, man. <laughs> Everybody loves the fin. Cool. Maybe Uyashoda is not used to TEC because he's kind of making a lot of misdrops. Not used to the uh, the tuning of the engine, so to speak. Yeah. All right, Ekids is playing survival with the zone meter right now. Uh, I think that was, you know, pops too much meter for not enough effect. I'm seeing some pretty good down stacking decisions from Ekins though. It's just that Uya yeah. showed his pressure is just so relentless. You can't really do anything. Not, uh, you know. Not good enough down stacking, unfortunately. Yep, and with and... that, we are now at match point. Uh, Ekans giving the in-game thumbs up emote. Um... Oh, man. <laughs> All right, another triple-double opener for Yashoda. Gonna get That's the PC off, too. Wow, that is big damage to be receiving at this stage of the game. And Ekans has a weird, oh, weird yeah. misdrop. Oh, Yashoda gonna have to come the back zone. From it. So oh, he can and keep PC. the PC loop going. <laughs> Jeez, that's going to be big damage. Ekans does have half a zone. Oh, 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 another PC for Uyashoda. Oh my gosh. I think oh, Ekans is sort of understanding, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the lion's den right now. Uyashoda is PC continuing zone. to do the zones just so he can keep the PC loop going. This guy is crazy. Jeez. All right, we just oh, showed you mean, like uh, refusing to his... take damage. Oh yeah, there's yeah. The damage, and it's five lines worth. So yeah, Why he not? actually misdropped his uh, his uh, opener there, so he was not able to get a PC off, unfortunately. Saying opener when we're already uh, a I mean, in like the, I know what the, you like, mean. I know what you mean. Empty board setup. Yeah. That's just that's just why I'm like shocked. Yeah. I guess is staying alive, uh, which you know if I'm in the if I'm in the ring and, you know, Uyashoda's doing this stuff to me, I'm just, I'm tapping out. Yeah. Uyashoda looking for some way to get that 20 zone off. Doesn't quite find it in time, but still going to yeah. send a lot of garbage over to Ekans. Ekans does only use half a zone, so this is not going to negate all the damage that he wants, regardless of how many lines he clears. So, so still gets a 40 off. Yeah. Just unfortunate that Ekans hasn't really been in the position this match to be sending, you know? Yeah. He has sent, right, but it wasn't really at Uyashoda's uh, inconvenience. Oh, but oh, now Uyashoda's going to get a big zone off. Playing risky survival. Uh, going to have to use zone. Where's the zone? Where's the zone? All right. And Uyashoda takes it with a clean sweep. 7-0 on Ekans. Yep. A valiant fight from Ekans, but uh, Uyashoda still takes it. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh, Really commanding and really convincing from the man from Japan. All right. So already coming in with a hot match. Uh, just like Tag was saying, Uyushota, one of the stronger players in this tournament. And with that display of power, uh, who am I to disagree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, totally. True. We got a 